Peggy 18. What's going on? I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell Community Developer, and we are here in beautiful Seattle, Washington at PAX 2012. Got the exhibitors pass. Let's go check out the Ubisoft booth. Come on. Splinter Cell Blacklist is the biggest, most ambitious Splinter Cell ever. Uh, we have a huge campaign on top of brand new content. So among the awesomeness that we're showing off here at PAX, we've also got our forum manager, and that would be Donna. It's actually Evil Pixie Girl's birthday, so say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Donna. Thank you, Zach. Hi. I would like to introduce you guys to Sable. She is our frag doll friend, and together we're going to gang up on some folks who are wearing these goggles, and we're going to give them this awesome gear from Astro Gaming. We've got the knapsack, we've got the Splinter Cell Blacklist branded headphones, and it's going to be something special. I hope I don't get hit in the junk. I hope you... Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> this we'll see is going to be awkward. <laughs> right here, goggles. You go up in front, I'll go by. Do you have like a... Like a, like a circle or like a square on them. Oh my gosh, oh, so sorry. Hey, hey, but I like your, I like your head, I mean, that's awesome. You ever been like in a cell situation? You ever like actually do what's going stuff? On here. This is going on. I, no, I'm, I'm just asking you some questions. I like, you know, you're, oh, you got it. Congratulations, you just won an Astro backpack, backpack and awesome an Astro headset. Why? Yeah, because you wore that. You're one of our giveaway winners. Yeah. Player choice moment right here, and uh, and we're gonna gauge the opinions of a morning crowd. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for a kill. Thumbs, thumbs up for a kill. Thumbs down for living. Thumbs up for a kill. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I think we have a winner. Oh, brutal. All right, so day one is done at PAX, and here we are unwinding a great community event that we put together where fans and devs are just hanging out, having some drinks, having some chuckles, and, and all that good stuff. I want to bring you in and just give you a quick glance at what's going on. We also happen to bump into this gentleman. His name is Mike. He lives in nearby Redmond, and uh, as you can see, he's done up in, in proper Sam Fisher style. So, Mike, talk to us a little bit about your, your experience with Splinter Cell and, and how it came to this. There was one time uh, a lot of years back, I went down and I was like, you know, I haven't actually played the Splinter Cell games yet. So I went down there and I bought uh, the original and Pandora Tomorrow. And then uh, you know, I played through both of them and I was like, man, this game is awesome. And then Chaos Theory came out soon after that and I was like, I, I guess there's something about these games. I just got to keep playing them. Like, I loved them. I loved you know, the stealth aspect, you know, what Sam Fisher was. I'm like, I just got to keep playing them. And then every time after that, I'm like, I just kept coming back because they're just... Love them. Talk to us a bit about the goggles and how, because these are these are made by you. Um, how did it start, and and what did it take to make it this? So, uh, yeah, like I said, all handmade. Uh, they're actually they're based on welding goggles, just like a set of welding goggles, and then you build them up from there. Of a, these are PVC pipes leading out from there, and then the lenses are actually the tops to like little lunch containers that keep your food warm. Uh, I walked into a grocery store, found them. I was like, that's the perfect color for the lenses. So I bought them, bought three of them, popped up the, uh, popped up the tops, cut out little circles and put them in. Uh, it was just perfect. Lasers and yeah. I've seen a fair amount of, of, of Sam Fisher cosplay, but I, I don't think I've seen anything to this quality. So uh, congratulations and thank you. And thank you. Thank you for all of this. It's awesome. So we hope you enjoyed the video. We understand not everyone can come to PAX. We met some really cool people. We're hanging out with some really cool Splinter Cell fans as well. I really hope you felt like you were part of the experience, or at least as close to it as possible. Uh, on behalf of the entire Splinter Cell Blacklist team, I want to say peace from PAX.